Jr. We're going to unisex salon tonight at Highline Ballroom. We've got backstage passes to interview Kenny Phillips and the band. So come on along and check it out, New York City. You made this. You made this, you guys. Get the name Unisex Salon. My old producer was recording and producing the strokes. He walked past the Unisex Salon and he said it's a joke. Why don't you call the band Unisex Salon? It's a really good idea. It'll advertise itself because there are really many unisex salons around town. And he was like, no, 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 it's just joking. That's not rock and roll. But it's so glam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Totally. And how long have you been together? That's this. We've been playing together for a year. <laughs> You're an amazing singer. No, I lost my voice today, actually. I woke up with no voice yesterday. So working hard, baby. That's why. I was working hard. hard. I was working hard. <laughs> I was working hard. But, um, this, uh, yeah, I've been singing. I, I started as an actor. I was like a kid. I didn't get attention. So I was an actor. He's a favorite musical theater role. Nathan Detroit has a goal. How many of your parents? Yeah, they're really embarrassed. Very proud. They are. Oh, they're freaks. I was watching my dad. He was like, oh, no, no. They're just. You made this, you made this, you guys. I was fat and I couldn't play volleyball or surf, so I was never going to Yeah, I was a fat kid. Grand, yeah, the, the kids called me Grand Canyon. And how did you I showed them, them such good I showed them. <laughs> um, I discovered running. I realized I hated sports. Yeah, because I couldn't, I had no ball skills. And, uh, and, uh, then I, I discovered running. I discovered I, you know, there was a sport where I didn't have to be on a team, and I just had to. Yeah. So uh, since I was 15, I've been running and working out. It's all vanity, it's beautiful, but it's fun. Well, you did it. It keeps me sane. Wow. Keeps How long have you been in New York? Wow. Um, I feel like I just moved here, but I moved here June 1st, 1998. So okay. 11 years. Right. And crazy. How do you like it in New York City? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I've wanted to move here since I was 12. Since I heard my first Talking Heads record. And I was like, oh my god, I have to move here. I have to move where this music came from. Yeah. And do you write the lyrics? Yeah, I write all the lyrics. Does that come naturally to you or do yeah. you have to like meditate? Or... No, you know, it's fun. You know how I do it? I, I get we write the music first um, and then I'll load it, the MP3 from rehearsal onto my iPod and I'll go running every day. And I'll write the lyrics while I'm running. And, uh, but yeah, writing. Actually, the first musical thing I ever did, the first rhythmic thing I ever did, was write an epic poem for two years. And I realized, like, 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 uh, you know, what's a big poem okay. called? What's a big epic poem? Like Homer, um, the Iliad, the Odyssey, that stuff. Alan Ginsberg. Ginsberg, Al. Yeah. yeah. Um, Joyce. Uh, you listen to this it's fiction, kind of like a poem. What's your epic poem about? It's mostly about shit. It's it's, it's very scatological. But what it was. You're going through. But it was no no poop literally. Oh, it's about. Poop. Yeah yeah yeah. A lot of it's about poop. The digestive. Well, I'm obsessed. I think I probably never progressed out of the anal stage of development. Well, I wish I had known this. We would have asked as well. Yeah, when I was seven, what happened? Um, I could, yeah, I, I remember pooping was very important. I was constipated as a kid a lot, and, and then my dad used the reward tactic. Like, you know, you'll get a Transformer or, or a GoBot uh -huh. or a Star Wars figure if you go to the bathroom. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. For some reason, poop just kind of haunts me. And you had to get it out of your system. You really had to get it out, literally. And, uh, but I realized it was fun because it was about the sound of the words more than the meaning of the words. And so it was a rhythmic experience. And from there, shortly thereafter, I started doing, experimenting with uh, writing songs on a four track. And uh, 
Yeah. Your, your music sounds poetic. That makes sense. It's very, you know, it's very it has a rhythm. Yeah. Very dramatic. Yeah. Remind me a little Duran Duran. Yes, I love Duran. Yeah. Come on in. Chris Comfort. And yes, come on in. This is Brian Gumble. Come on in. What's going on? Uh, Chris Holmes. We're doing an interview. Oh, really? Uh, for yeah. all the features. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, join in. I'll join in. Join in. I'm coming in. Yeah. I will be right back. Cool. Come on. We're just chilling. Chris, it's have very... you been with a band from the start? No. No, no I'm the newest member. Yeah. Wow. Five months now? Yep. Yeah. yeah? That's right. Well, you look great up there. Thank you very you much. Sound great. That's Thanks. amazing. Well, these guys already had it all together. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to tell you, I I have never been so I'm so lucky to join such a like a solid group that are they're so welcoming, but they're also incredibly talented. I mean, I just came in and I you know I had to work my ass off to get caught up, but they were really really welcoming and they and and so good that I don't have to worry about anything but myself. You know what I mean? I can just do my thing and I have to kind of like fidget and make sure that everybody else is where they, so I don't get lost, you know yeah. what I mean? What were you doing before? Just playing with myself in my apartment. Exactly. Yeah. Just, just with my pants Looking for the right sure. thing. Sure. Like, like with, yeah. surfing the web and, you know. Chris is a composer. He's yeah. scores yeah. movies. He's scoring some, I've been scoring films. Uh, yeah. So what, what are some movies you I, I did two films, uh, both of these small indie projects. One is a short film called Rainbow Rapper Reliant. And then the second one is a feature length that's called Last Chance. And that's pornographic. Well, well not art. really, but yeah, sure. <laughs> it's what it to be. <laughs> and so Rainbow River Line is really cool. It's, uh, I'm in a theater company, and they developed the script, and then Leo's Playground produced it. And uh, it's a really cool story. It's like a political family drama thing, as you said, 18 minutes short. And that was my, my foray in the film story. And when you say you're scoring, are you playing the guitar? I'm playing or everything. Or I'm playing, uh, like, like full sample orchestra, uh, piano, because I'm a keyboard player first and foremost. So, um, I mean, I've been playing guitar for a couple of years now, but keyboard was where I started. So, uh, I, be, I think it was my dream to, to do the film scoring thing. I just never followed it until more recently. And these opportunities just fell in the lap. And I think that that first one, met the director for the second one at the screening of the first, got that job immediately. He already wants me to score his next film. And then another friend, I'm doing a horror film trailer right now. Yeah. And then I'm going to start scoring another horror film, totally separate from that first one. So I have it's every time. Movie. Yeah. It's every time. It just kind of. And you know, he also, he, he's also an underwear model. He has to do it all. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you come from New York or? Uh, Maryland. I've been here 11 years. That's the same time as it Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, we live around the corner. We live around yeah, we live right on. Autumn and Kenyon and I are all like within like 100 feet of each other. That's amazing. It's awesome. It's so, it's so what's on the horizon? We're doing Webster Hall next month, which is going to be fun. It's Saturday night. And we just um, started working with a booking agency that does European tours. So we're hoping that everything falls into place and we can in Europe this time next year and also be doing some more colleges music videos videos we love videos yeah. we love videos you guys are great yeah uh, beautiful. I've got two friends who are filmmakers who have already offered to yeah. uh, you know work on the best idea when we have time to do it so uh, either them or somebody else that can't get yeah, yeah. It's, a lot, it's cool to have so many creative friends and just like pouring energy into something, and it all just kind of swirls around and comes back. It's, it's fucking awesome. And having the film stuff involved, that, that's really helpful. Yeah, totally. You know, yeah, motivating. Because you guys, visually, you just got to be on film. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Get it all. We, we, yeah, well, it's, it's a show. It's just definitely. Yeah. yeah, the hardest thing for me filming these things is not screaming and jumping yeah. up and down. And I just gotta contain it while I'm watching you guys. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard. Awesome. I figure I can scream later when I'm watching the Please. editing. Please. <laughs> Thank you. I love screaming. So, what would you say to anybody who wants to come to New York and be up there on stage like you guys? I'd say do it. <clears throat> come to New York. This is a place where, where you know, you can you can be whatever you want to be. Don't listen to the haters and the negative people who say, "Oh, the competition is so tough." Yeah, there's a lot of competition, but. If you want it bad enough, 
and you're uh, a big enough nerd to practice. To let That's it. Practice. Work, working hard yeah. and working and working and working and working. And just have fun doing it. Yeah. Finding joy in the process. Um, for me, that's that's very important. I find joy. I have as much fun in rehearsal as I do in shows. And what message do you feel like you're giving out when, when you're on that stage? Just be, be, celebrate exactly who you are. Celebrate you for you. Don't judge yourself. Celebrate your sexuality while you're young and you look good. And even if you're old and fat and wrinkly, you can still get it up. You can still get wet. Then do it. There you go. Can't argue with that. I think that's a good ending. <laughs> Thank Can't you. Do Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you. I can't it's wait so to fun. keep watching. You had great energy. energy. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Cheers. And thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.